Hello friends, today I am back again with a new tutorial. This time I will be talking about Hebb rule. So let us discuss the algorithm first, then we will do, uh, we'll do a question. Step 0 is to initialize the weights. Here we can set the weights to 0 and also we can set the bias to 0. Step 1 is to adjust the weights and bias. So how is the weight and bias adjustment performed in this case? Let us see. Wi new equal to Wi old plus Xiy where x is the input vector and y is the target output change in weight is equal to xiy and change in weight is equal to y so heb rule it is mainly used for pattern association pattern categorization and pattern classification so now let us look at the problem for pattern classification for heb rule so this is the question here using heb rule find weights required to perform the following classification of given input pattern plus symbols represent the value 1 and empty squares indicate minus 1 Consider I belongs to the members of the class, so has a target value 1 and O does not belong to the members of class, so it has a target value of minus 1. So first step is to arrange the data in a tabular form where pattern I, I and O are given. So let us see the inputs. How many inputs will be there? X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, X6, X7, X8, X9. So we will have four, eight, 9 input vectors. So let us see how to make this table. Since plus indicates 1, so we will write uh, corresponding to uh, plus we write a 1 so 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 sorry minus 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 for i and for o it will be 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 1 and target value it has been given uh, for i it has been given 1 and for o it has been given minus 1 so we'll arrange the data in this form then uh, uh, according to the algorithm first step is to initialize the weights to 0 so we'll initialize all the weights that is w1 till wn till w9 and b to 0 so let us take for first input that is i presenting first input pattern i we have w i uh, we'll update the weights for w i new equal to w i old plus x i y w1 new equal to w1 old plus x1 y so w1 new will become since w1 old is 0 so uh, n plus x1 x1 is 1 and y is 1 so uh, w1 new will become 1 similarly w2 new w2 new equal to w2 old which is 0 plus x2 x2 is 1 and y is 1 so it will become 1 similarly we look at w7 new w7 new equal to w7 old which is 0 plus x plus x7 x7 is 1 and y is 1 so we'll have w7 new is as 1 so we'll get all these values for w1 till w9 like this and b new is equal to b old plus y b old is 0 plus y value is target uh, target value is 1 so b value will become 1 so after getting all the values for w we'll get the matrix like this 1 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 so now let us see for case 2 that is for o now presenting second input pattern o initial weights used here will will be the final weights obtained after the first input pattern that means the weights that we already have obtained will serve as the initial weights in this case so here uh, applying weight updation we get w1 new equal to w1 old plus x1 y since w1 old is equal to w1 old is equal to 1 plus x1 here for o x1 is 1 and for y is minus 1 so we'll get a zero value here similarly for w2 new w2 new is w2 old that is w2 old is 1 plus x2 plus x2 for o is 1 and y is minus 1 so we'll get zero value here so similarly we'll get all the values for uh, after applying weight updation like this 0 0 0 minus 2 2 minus 2 0 0 0 and b new will get b old plus y that is b old was 1 plus target value for uh, uh, pattern o is minus 1 so we'll get zero value here so final weights after presenting second input pattern are given us 0 0 0 minus 2 2 minus 2 0 0 0 0 0 this is bias so we'll uh, finally draw this uh, heb network for x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 x9 which are which are the uh, input neurons and connected to the output neuron by these weights which we have got in this finally so this will be the heb, heb network after uh, solving all the question after solving the entire question so thank you guys uh, please like subscribe and comment the video if you like the video